Rough surfaces of additively manufactured metallic parts act as crack initiation sites and in many cases they compromise part performance. There are many underlying reasons why the parts often have rough surfaces. But currently there is no commonly accepted method to make parts with smooth surfaces. Because there are multiple mechanisms at play here, physics-based mechanistic modeling is not as attractive as models based on experimental data. I am going to discuss our recent research on a model-based method of reducing surface roughness that we just published in the Journal of Manufacturing Processes. The model is based on independent experimental data of surface roughness of four alloys. We show that a dimensionless index can predict and reduce surface roughness. And here we explain how to construct this index and how to use it for printing parts with smooth surfaces. In the powder bed fusion additive manufacturing process, parts are made by depositing thin layers of metal layer upon layer. The surface roughness varies significantly with processing parameters, the alloy and the part design. The roughness can affect the fatigue life of the part, the dimensional accuracy, and in extreme cases may result in part rejection. In many cases, parts require post-processing such as sandblasting, electropolishing, and grinding to address the surface roughness problem. These available solutions are useful in many cases, but not always. So we review the current solutions next. We show the different techniques that are currently used to minimize surface roughness. Post-processing includes additional steps such as sandblasting, electropolishing, and grinding to address the surface roughness, but it adds an additional step and this can be quite expensive. Experimental trial and error involves adjustment of different variables such as power, speed, layer thickness, and because there are many variables and we have a large parameter space for each of these variables, this also can be pretty expensive and time consuming. Hybrid manufacturing such as adding a machining step with the laser processing is another solution that is often adopted but this also adds an extra step and sometimes the process is also difficult to control because there are different steps that have to be done in sequence and finally machine learning very often we try to correlate the variables with an outcome such as smooth surface for parts but this is based solely on data, so we need lots of data and we have very limited understanding of how the machine learning actually controls the printing of smooth surfaces. All these techniques have their difficulty and so we need a new method, a method that should consider all the important variables that affect surface roughness it should be easy to use and the method should be rigorously validated by experiments. Since rough surfaces originate from many complex physical processes, any individual process parameters or computed variables using mechanistic modeling cannot represent several complex physical processes. Here, we derive a dimensionless index combining all necessary process parameters and computed variables using Buckingham Pi theorem. Rapid high throughput screening 
of experimental surface roughness data and the derived index can help us to find the correlation between them and reduce surface roughness. After deriving the surface roughness index using the Buckingham Pi theorem, a linear relationship is found between the ratio of surface roughness to powder diameter with the surface roughness index considering 120 experimental data points for four commonly used alloys. The higher the value of the surface roughness index, the rougher will be the printed surface. Here we show two cases of titanium 6 aluminum 4 vanadium alloy for a smooth surface and a rough surface. In the surface roughness index equation, the six causative variables may not contribute equally to creating rough surfaces. Their relative influence on surface roughness is important because they can guide engineers to decide which variable to adjust to reduce surface roughness. The calculation showed that the heat input and pool aspect ratio are the first and second most important variables affecting the surface roughness. Heat input impacts both the amount of liquid and the stability of the molten pool which affects the surface roughness. The surface roughness index provides a scale for comparing surface roughness for different alloys because the material properties are considered in the index. The computed values of surface roughness for four commonly used alloys, aluminum silicon 10 magnesium, titanium 64, inconoid 738, and stainless steel 316 are shown at different scanning speeds while other process parameters are keep constant. For the same process condition, the aluminum silicon 10 magnesium alloy has the lowest value of surface roughness index, indicating the highest chance to produce a smooth surface, while the stainless steel 316 is the most vulnerable to surface roughness among the four alloys. The surface roughness index can be used for process parameter selection. Taking titanium 64 alloy as an example, we generate the surface roughness maps for the layer thickness of 40 and 50 micron, keeping other parameters constant. A high layer thickness increases the staircase effect and increases the difficulty to build smooth surfaces. However, a very small layer thickness indicates low productivity, requires more time to build apart, and increases the cost. A proper layer thickness should be selected to maintain a smooth surface without affecting productivity. Similar surface roughness maps can also be easily generated for the other three alloys. Aluminum silicon 10 magnesium, Inconoy 738, and stainless steel 316. Rough surfaces originate from complex interactions of many physical processes. A dimensionless surface roughness index combines the complex mechanisms of surface roughness formation and provides a practical way of understanding the influence of process parameters and alloy properties on surface roughness. The validated and easy to use surface roughness index can predict and reduce surface roughness before doing any experiments. This work has just been published in the Journal of Manufacturing Processes in this issue. Thank you very much for watching.